See, because metaverse, some of them, we are we, uh, uh, like people are fearing. Even me may make us lose touch with the reality because it's virtual reality. What happened to the physical reality? So my question is, what are your thoughts on the balance between human connection in the physical world and virtual interactions in the metaverse? We are going very deep now. Last three questions are deep. So be ready for it. So what are your thoughts on that? Because you are an evangelist of the metaverse. We're already there. What are you talking about? We're all, we're, you, you should already know we're already there. We're already disconnected when we talk about social media, when it comes to Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, and all of that. We're already disconnected of understanding what physical world and virtual reality is, right? We're already there when we talk about, you know, Clubhouse alone. There are people on Clubhouse that feel more connected to each other than people that they sit right next to because of this community. So when people bring up this question, I'm like, we're all, we've lost touch of that since we've been introduced to TV. You know, and more importantly, I've ran into people that have been into, that have been introverts that absolutely did not talk to anyone. And now with them being in the metaverse, they're extroverts, they're able to come out of their shell. So I believe that the virtual reality is going to allow people to really be able to connect even more because a lot of us are scared of the physical appearance. We're scared of the other judgment. And with us being able to use the strongest chakra in our bodies, which is our voice, which is what we use on these social media platforms, we are already there of being able to distinguish those two and kind of they merge with each other. You know, let's be honest, you know, a lot of relationships have not made it because, you know, the guys or the girls have been watching Instagram or TikToks and seeing all these guys with six packs and, you know, buff shoulders and they look at their dude and like, who are you? Right? And so we're kind of already at that point. And, but I think this is really going to give us more of, 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 of an interconnection or of a vibe than we can possibly imagine than anything, especially when we talk about the health care, especially when we talk about, you know, recovery, when we talk about all these other things that they're not talking about on the news because most people are more so getting on metaverse to play around and they're playing games, not being able to integrate it and see how it can really, you know, in their personal life and their business life and overall mindset. So yeah, basically say it's over. Metaverse wins. It's what you're saying. Uh, it's been over. Uh, it's, not, it's not even without metaverse. You take metaverse out of it and we leave metaverse another 20, 30 years. We have already gotten to this point where virtual reality with these phones and social media and everything else, we're already disconnected. So, I mean, I think this is going to bring us back. Like I said, the past repeats itself. And if we take this back to business, this is literally me as a business owner having a TV on the wall. And when somebody walks into my store, I can hit the unmute button and have a conversation with them. No more email. No more of you go into my social media. No more of you, you know, snooping around. It is interaction one on one to where we're going back to the past. So now you get to learn everything up front and center. And now, yes or no. And that's what these products, services and everything give us the accessibility to do. And not only that, for people not to create stories. Right. I think that's one of the interesting. All right.